Hey guys, so welcome back to another one of my videos. Today we're going to be doing a movie review on Down by Law, starring Tom Waits, John Lurie, and Robert Bagini, and directed by Jim Jarmusch. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, but um, that's how his name goes. And uh, this is a comedy slash indie film from 1986. And yeah, let's talk about it. But before we do, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Ring the bell for notifications so you never ever miss a video. Like the video and comment down below. What is your favorite indie film? Or simply, what is your favorite film by, if you know, Jim George Moosh? Um, so yeah, or just simply, what's your favorite film? So yeah, um, uh, yeah, let's talk about Down by Law. So Down by Law tells the story of these three people who run into each other in the same jail cell. One was, two were framed for a crime. One of them was like taking a car from one part of town to another. Um, but the police stopped him and they found a body in his trunk. The other one was, um, you know, just playing like framed for something. It was It's not really, really explained in this movie. And the third one um, accidentally killed someone uh, with a, uh, you know, uh, What's the pool table, you know, with the stick in the ball? Um, I can't remember, but like one of those balls. Um, so they're all in this uh, jail cell together and they spend time with each other and, um, you know, they get to know each other and eventually become friends. So they plot an escape to get out of jail and they succeed and they are chased by the police, but, um, you know, escape into the swamps of New Orleans. This takes place in New Orleans also. Also, did you know that? Alan Barskin is in this movie. Yeah, I didn't know that. And if you don't know, uh, she's the main character of Animal Kingdom. So yeah, um, this movie took four hundred, okay, four hundred and fifty-three thousand and six hundred dollars to make, and um, it got one point four three six million dollars um, in return. So it didn't cost that much, but it also sort of made a profit. Um, so yeah, this movie is fantastic. It has good acting, and for such a small budget, they managed they managed to do such a great things with the camera, and also they managed to like completely like make yourself enjoy the movie. Like there are a few films that by indie directors that you know they create their own idea and that you can really enjoy and appreciate. This film also I like indie films because they give you inspiration because. Movies like these can show you that with such a low budget, you don't need like millions of dollars just to create a simple story. You just need a camera, a couple bucks, and a good actors, and a good director to create a great story. And that's what I really enjoy about this. This movie reminded me of Oh Brother Where Art Thou. Similar story, but this one was made before um, the uh, Oh Brother Where Art Thou. Um, similar story, but not really. Um, so yeah, um... This is a great film. I do recommend it. It's very funny. Um, Robert Beghini is um, hilarious in this film. He's from Life is Wonderful, a movie, you know, the one with World War II in that um, concentration camp. He's from that. Um, and yeah, this was made in 1986. Um, so yeah, it's a black and white indie film. And uh, yeah, I think you guys will enjoy. It has very kind of heartwarming moments, but in the end, it's probably one of my favorite parts. Because the ending just felt so, wow, just like powerful. And it was just really good story, low budget, and overall great movie. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 for an indie film. This was fantastic. I mean, you could have gotten any other director with a huge budget to make this film, and it would not have been so enjoyable. But knowing that this was a small budget indie film created by a guy who makes indie films, um, just was like wow. Also, did you know Tom Waits? He makes the soundtrack for this film, which I really like. The soundtrack is a cool song, um, and yeah, they they managed to do this, and they did a very successful job. And I do recommend this movie. I'll put the trailer in the link below. Um, so yeah, I um, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, you know, uh, have a good day. Bye.